Victory is vengeance! Hey guys, it's me, it's your boy Midnight, and today I'm back with a community request. You guys really want to see how I built Agapitoneth, and I really like that idea. First of all, because I haven't played him yet, as you see, and second of all, because I'm a big Raven God fan. So the thing is, Raven God have access to three very good warlords. <laughs> All three of them are uh, playable. And not, not only playable, they are uh, competitively playable up to the high end of the ladder. And as you see, I have uh, over 800 Nikona games and also some games with six. That's one of my first videos. Feel free to check it out. I have a deck hide uh, on him uploaded. And Corex also there, but he has a similar playstyle as Nikona with the uh, hide and seek stuff, uh, just a bit different. And I prefer Nikona, so I didn't play Corus that much. And Nef kind of uh, he falls behind his uh, battle brothers a bit. <clears throat> like these two, as mentioned, have the uh, hide and seek playstyle, and Six just works really well with uh, neutral pool. And because of his ability, he can stuff, uh, he can buff up uh, other units which are uh, low health. And most of Raven Guard units are low health, especially the scimitar bikes. So that's his main combo, basically. So you kind of capitalize on the glass cannon troops of uh, Raven Guard and buff them up so they become more durable. That's kind of the six playstyle. So he works very good as well. Um, how do we go with Neff? Um, Agapito Neff has a Loken ability with a twist, and he also has a medium initiative, so not like Nikona and Corex. Um, so you want to apply Sentenced with him. Mm. I have something in mind. Since he would draw cards and you want to apply Sentenced, I'm going to build a deck which focuses on Sentence damage and some combos since we are probably going to draw a lot of cards. So. I'll go ahead. I'm gonna change my deck to a Raven God dude so I don't have to search eternally for the card packs and so on. And new deck. Agapito Neff. And let's go. So what I have in mind is a mentioned sentence. And some combo. So I'm going to go with Shadow Walk actually here. Uh, pretty good. The stuff is permanent as it's only one energy and it also heals for two. I'm going with two of those, because of the Raven. I think this goes in any Raven God deck. It's a very cheap and good AoE, the rich, rich cycles. So no witnesses is um, the first sentence uh, thing we got. Um, I could basically deal four damage to a troop for four and draw a card. It's like a bad chariot of gods from the Sons of Horus. I think I'm gonna try and go with that, like as a removal. So then I'll go ahead. Numus is also like the first uh, troop which can give sentence. They got a couple of those. I'm going to go with one of those simply because um, activating their ability is sometimes a bit awkward. So you want to, you will play on one uh, maintenance. Having two of those will mean you will have to play on two maintenance. I'm also going to go with the jet bikes, or I actually prefer goldstone hunters over the jet bikes simply because they are unstoppable and deal one more damage. So yeah, we'll see. I'll keep the uh, the, the the bikes in mind. Uh, what's that even? I don't know. Stealth to damage looks like no, it's not so good. I'm just gonna go with Deliverance. I don't think I have to explain that here. Um, it's a very good card. Hero from buff works well. The sentenced, especially against uh, um, single warlords like play without troops. But yeah, it's a bit random. I don't like it that much for three energy. This gave will sell though. Very good heart removal. What do these guys do? Uh, sentenced one when damaged. Yeah, but they are one three. I think Numus will do the trick. So similar jetpacks going in, of course. They will be our first target for shadow walks. Mm, Solari squad is not bad either. Um, I mean, it does. Uh, does one damage two times. So if you apply sentence, I'll keep them in mind. Um, before I pick in these uh, kind of not so good but viable troops, I'm gonna get Bowman of course and Kellen veterans. So this is a second sentence troop, and this also will be our second target for um, Shadow Walk. So then Odaris are pretty good. Mm, I 
don't know if I want to take them in the fourth spot, oh, of course. Um, not of course, but uh, yeah, maybe. Raven stuns is not so good on that, I think. I'm gonna keep that out for now. So, from whom the bell tolls? I'm going to pick that here. This is going to be our finisher, like a one-off. Um, since we're going to draw a lot of cards, I think we will be able to utilize it pretty well. We want Gorilla Warfare. Now I stopped and I tried to say it. Is it supposed to be said? Not Gorilla Warfare? But I don't know. When I'm not thinking about it, I'm still pronouncing it wrong. So Javelin Speeders, of course. Really good anti-stealth. That, that's kind of quite ironic that Raven Guard has the best anti-stealth in the game. I think these are the best here. 6-4 flankers, really good, and all enemies lose stealth. So loser squad. Um, our 5 drops are already uh, like full, so it's since I'm going with the Marauders, obviously a very good troop. The Lisa won't find a place. Uh, Clade, yeah. Um, very good buddy. And again, sentence 3 on vehicles. So then more Dason. Mm, okay, Shadow Waters. Uh, I don't know, I don't like them that much. They're good. Again against Angra and Arcana or something against aggressive stuff. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. So then we got our top end, Nex and Dark Fury. I'm probably going with one Nex for now. I really like this guy. He's like huge and can be a game finisher. So, I'm gonna go with the command bridge. I think it's going to be good to fish for shadow bulks on something I want to use, or for uh, deliverance, or then for whom the bell tolls when I need it. And then, which other neutrals should I aim for? Equatress, no. Artillery strikes. Uh, death sets. Renegade, one's favor. Uh -huh. mm, I guess chaos won't be in here. Drilling sites. I want to oppose um, for the combo, and so we can use our ability. Okay, then Melgator will be pretty good, I think. We can bounce something like. Uh, I mean, I'm, when, I, when I want to pick Melgator, I'm always thinking, can I use him on my own troops if uh, the enemy doesn't play anything? Like, Melgator is not an auto include, in my opinion. He, uh, he's good against in tempo decks. Like, you bounce something and you get the board back for one turn, because at the turn of your opponent. But when you're playing against something which doesn't have any good Melgator targets, I'm always asking myself in building a, a deck. Um, if I include him, can I profit from it on myself? Like, and I, here I think I can. I can bounce my scimitar jet bikes on something, and I'm probably gonna include uh, something else as well. I think I'm going with the Solaro bikes then when I go with Megator. But let's see. Forbidden protocols. That's pretty good. If I'm going to go with the bikes. Hmm. Yeah. Let's do it. And then the Solaro bikes. But let's check the other cards first. Uh, ba -ba -ba, anything else which comes to mind? Arrow sliders. I also kind of thought about uh, Crucial Choice. <sighs> I don't know. I could get rid of No Witnesses. Hmm. Although I think it's actually really good on uh, on on Nef. So simply again, this like a chariot of gods which you can use on troops. Okay, let's keep crucial choice in mind for now. Um. So as mentioned, I'm going with the bikes instead of uh instead of goldstones. The combo. Last rifles are also really good. The pings. But I don't really know where to fit them here. Hmm. Yeah, 
You know what, I'm gonna skip on those, like Jubex also really cool for Shadow Walk. So you can become stealth. Well, let's see. I'm gonna go with Jubek. And then... Anything else I want to add? Anything else that works really good here? Hmm. Not really, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of one no witnesses. I think a one off is enough. And as mentioned, I am going to add the bikes. The Solaro bikes. Where were they? Where were they? Right here. So, how I think this will play out, we are... Uh, as mentioned, we got some good targets for Shadow Walk, so no witnesses. One of should be enough, as mentioned. Malgat Hall can then bounce Solaro bikes. So how I suppose this to work is so we got our bell spells as a finisher. And we play that, we got Drilling Side in hand, and we play a bunch of stuff, for example, two times uh, the the the, um, the Solaro Bikes. And we can also bounce them with Nagator, we play them again. And again, Drilling Side will help us to maintain our mana here a bit. Jubex only here simply because uh, Shadow Walk target really good, I think. Hmm, so yeah. This is the first take. I'm not gonna change it a bit here. We had a second combo here as well, besides the belt tolls with uh, the forbidden protocols on uh, jet bikes. Like I play jet bikes, give them shadow walk. Works a, a little bit like with, uh, say it, uh, with six. So instead of giving them one health, uh, two health or one mana energy, we give them stealth. Hmm. I think this looks good. Like curse of the raven twice could be a bit over the top. But it works really well with the sentence and it draws a card, it cycles itself. So yeah, let's give this second name. Mm. Agapito. You know what? His brother, Bran, Laf is in his uh, in Orphans of War. I'll just call him Bran's bro. This sounds good. It's <laughs> mm. Sorry. I don't know. I didn't know how to say it else. Okay, then we need a card back and a symbol, so... Raven God, Raven God, Raven God. So for Raven God. I kinda only need that for Raven God. Okay, this looks cool. That's a legendary one, right? Yeah. And does he have a quote? And let's see, we strike from the darkness, that's Korok's quote. It's already Ferris Manus, Korok. Korok. Uh. Mm. Let's go with that. I don't know. I don't even know why I care about those. And uh, Dreadnought from the Raven God. Probably fits here as well. Alright. Um, if you watch my SS video, I'm not going to jump into ladder right now. I am currently fighting for top 10. And ladder is a mess. You see a lot of Krull, Knights. Um, and then there's also this bullshit with uh, Gyro and Cypher ODK, it's simply not very interactive and fun games. I also don't think they are that interesting to watch. Um, sometimes it just comes down to RNG who wins at this high level, so I'm gonna jump into practice. We got bots turned off already, very good. So yeah, we're still going to face um, high ranked players, so I think there's not much difference. And, you know, this is the first take on the deck, so it probably isn't optimized. I still think it's going to work well, but let's see. Let's jump into some games. I'm just going to cut the waiting times. You're also going to see me if I lose, so, yeah. Well, let's get into it. Ah, uh, that was fast. Some dude trying out Sanguinius. Oh, that's the guy who only plays uh, Burn Petrol Robo in practice. He... Try something else out. Great. Victory is vengeance. Victory we is vengeance. On righteous wings. Okay, he just smacks my face. Um, and I'm gonna shoot him. So, what do you got, bro? Nothing. Alright. Now, here's the Jew back. I think I'm actually gonna play him. Without the uh, Shadow Walk protection. That's whatever. Loretus, okay. Not bad. It's a good flanker. Yeah, 
I kind of expected that. Okay, pretty good. We got a perfect answer for that. I smack it. Play the jetpacks. Stun this dude. I hope he doesn't have another of those uh, one-two charges. And I fish for a shadow walk, right? Yeah, that looks good. But that was exactly how I planned it. Okay. Oh, the crap, dude. Okay, let's see. So, you go here. You go here. Slaroplex. Shadow walk this dude. And that should be it. Uh, I hope he doesn't run Angel's Wrath or something, which stuns me and deals the damage to chest and troops. But usually it's not in the decks. So, whatever. Okay, here's another Drakeus. He drew it. I think he just could have punched him. Oh no! Oh, this sucks. Please miss! Miss! Oh, son of a bitch. But okay. And we're pretty lucky. Mm, I got the Lorator. So, Drilling Sun not doing much here. Never lucky rubber ducky. The turn for him, good for me. I'm gonna play the more Dathan, and I think I'm gonna attack with that. It's despicable to um, what's it called? Prophecy revealed, or just another cheap flanker or something? I don't know. So I'm just gonna do the five damage here. All right. Um, dude, that's not how it works. By the way, if I give it sentenced, I think it doesn't work, by the way. Um, that was so stupid from him, I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I'll just play these guys over here. Give it a smack. And just kill it. Yeah, this would work. I hope he doesn't have Crimson Spectre. Mm, he does. Alright. Not a biggie. Yeah, I don't care about that one that much. Oh boy. I hope he doesn't have prophecy revealed. So I'm just gonna clear that for now. So that he doesn't reveal it and I don't know. I mean if, uh, if he hits me with that, it's too much damage, so. Okay. So he probably fishes for his prophecy right now. Yeah, here it is. Oh Jesus Christ, this dude. I don't think smacking was a good idea. Like, this is what playing too much Petrobo does to a dude. Holy crap. Um, let's draw first. Hidden Protocols doesn't do that much right now, does it? Let's draw another card. Okay, Numus Reckon. Um, so what I'm going to do here. If I give it... Yeah, I'm just gonna smack him here. Let's use the Melkator on his Melkiel. He used his... Crimson um, Spectre, so I'm not afraid of playing these. Hear my cry. Bring me to you. I was afraid that he had a Spear of Telesta after um, Prophecy Revealed, but he didn't. Or maybe... Was not enough cost reduced. So yeah, don't play too much Petrabo, boys. You see that what it does to your mind. Pretty good first game. Off to the next one. Mm, 
Crosswind. That's going to be hard. I know this guy from Better he only plays Crosswind there as well. Um that's a pretty good hand though. I'm probably going to skip deliverance. Not yet. I can kill big stuff with that. That bikes. Two. Victory is vengeance! This war is just beginning. Let's see how it works. He's probably gonna face bash. Yep. Shadow walk, nice. I'm just gonna shoot him for now. Okay. I'm gonna jet bike and shadow walk here. Uh, I don't, I mean, not shadow walk yet. Stun him for now. I'm also not gonna face flash. Retreat. Practice, I guess. Uh, okay, off to the next one. Oh, Jesus Christ, Iota. Oh, no. Um, yeah. This will be annoying. Victory is vengeance. He's fully really top tier right now. Uh, used her as the start of the season to get points real quick. Let's see what he plays. And let's hope for not too much um, seals. But he already generated one. So let's just shoot her. Okay. Hmm. I could even could either Melgit or jet bike. What's better? Hmm. I think jet bike. And stunner. So she can't shoot it. Unfortunately, I don't have a shadow walk. And he's one mana off uh, playing the Roar, the 3 damage guy. Okay. So I really want to kill that. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. Uh, that's unfortunate with the Melgator though. I think it still was a good play because I would have played Coleman now. So, but I really need to get rid of that. So, yeah. And let's punch the Melgator, I guess. He has the... this guy, yeah. Should have anticipated it. Okay. Here's the shadow walk. Unfortunate. Um, so what am I gonna do here? I need to kill that, to be honest. Since I can't play anything besides Murgator, I'm just gonna do that. Oh yeah, this is not looking that great. Arabian Clyde also doesn't do anything because uh, they usually don't run any vehicles at positioning, bro. Sometimes lucky. Uh, here's the second shadow walk. Okay, I can't do anything about it. I'm just gonna to play these guys. Bikes. Um, the bikes probably here. 
take this once and give it shadow walk. Good, we didn't pr trigger anything yet. Good for us. Yeah, we'll probably just kill the Kalen. I'm fine with that. It was kind of a sacrifice. Uh, okay. Bit of a waste of the sword, in my opinion. But, who knows? Okay. So, let's do it. Pro calls. Oh, wait. First, I need to get rid of that. Okay. Um, yeah, still. So, we play the cell here. Uh, protocols here. Yeah, that's not so good. So, test ward, not too shabby. Attack here. I'm just gonna use drilling site here to play Coleman. Should be fine. Not that. Oh, it is also a survivor and ward. That was really good. A pretty strong bike now. Cool. Running a bit low on cards. Uh, he already drew it. Okay, so I'm gonna draw first. It's capable cell, you go here. You, Melgator. Let's get deliverance, I guess. Hmm, I wish for whom the bell tolls, but that works as well, I guess. I'm not gonna play it yet, though. Do they have charges or something like this has? Two more health. I don't think Shadow Walk is useful here yet, right now. Okay. That's so okay. So, what do we do here? I'm probably gonna sell it again. Attack. Kill, you back, deliverance. Yeah, this should work. Ooh, that's a juicy troop. Alright. Alright. Use the bells. But he got a front line. Um, am I really afraid of this? Not really. So I still have to curse. Do that. Shoot it. And I'm probably gonna play Animus. I wonder if he sees the survivor, because I didn't. Uh, next turn I got quite some damage here. Bells, then Marader squad. I don't know if that's lethal, but I'm still gonna do it, I think. Generated only one seal so far, and he used it, so I'm not afraid of that either. I wonder if he saw it. He didn't. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, that was cool. Okay, hey, we won versus Iota. Not too shabby. I guess that deck works. Okay, and we're gonna do another one. Oh no, a knight. What's up with the matter today? Holy crap. Again, this guy. Leave me alone. Um, This is good for the the uh, 
freeze dudes. Okay, the tech freeze. This is such a tryhard. First he plays only uh, Petrobo in practice. Now he goes with the knight. Oh my! Not much to do here. So I'll just shoot him. Curse. Shoot. I'm not even sure how I'm going to win this, to be honest. Maybe with next somehow. gonna play the veterans again because he has battle cannon in hand for sure. Uh, let's do that. And mm. do I want to draw a card here? Do I want to draw a card for equipping sites? Probably not. So now he has a last cutter. Or uh, or a battle cannon. Last cutter is probably the more convenient way here to kill that. Mm, yep, here it is. Javelins are not so good here, but I guess it distracts him a bit. Oh man, this really sucks. I could also get rid of the uh, um, the flamer first. Like this is too damage for five. This is so bad. Um, you know what? I'm gonna sacrifice the Coleman here. And just shoot him. He probably has a way to kill it. I would really love to see my shadow walk here. This is stupid. It's this card is made to get back to your hand. To give plasma. Uh, but he has enough of that anyway. So let's see what he does. Yep. Like with a normal troop deck you really have no chance against knights. Okay. He just plays another flame cannon. So he runs two of those. So yeah, didn't tech against knights. My bad. Okay. Moretus. Sure. Unfortunately, I can't get rid of his weapons again unless I throw a. Uh, Radiant Clyde doesn't do much. So now he probably has his Apothecary. Uh, not Apothecary, the uh, Archmagus. Oh yeah, he goes himself like that. And clears my board again. I simply can't get rid of his weapons, at least as the uh, plasma reserves go down slowly. Or not. Okay. Protocols. Do I just protocols here? I mean, there's no way my bikes or uh, 
I mean, Solero bike could also be something worth trying. Mm -hmm -hmm. I don't know, man. Let's just try it, I guess. Maybe something good happens. Ward and poisons. Survivor? No. Hmm. That's six health, so yeah. I'm gonna smack him here. I need to get rid of the weapons. I mean, I'm getting lethal range already, but yeah, who knows? Okay. Maybe smacking wasn't a good idea. Yeah, he has House Veroni. Um. So, Alcator building side connects. Yeah, here are the bikes. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm dead. Anyway, so, whatever. I wonder if he sees it. Will he be aiming me? No, he's not. Ah, he is. <laughs> oh well, that's nice for you boys. Ah, he had everything needed for the play. Okay, that should be it for the day. Losing tonight is not a big issue. I really like the other two games, or three actually. So we had uh, Sanguinius, Cosway, and Iodo, and Um, but one of us, Cosway, wasn't so fun, so maybe I'll do another one. How long am I recording? 47 minutes. And yeah, it's probably a 40 minute video or something. So yeah, um, that was a deck. Not optimized versus knights. Too many troops, I guess. Um, I didn't know. I don't know. Maybe I could have done something different, like saving up a Moretus and so on for that. Mm, maybe. But yeah, the flamer, uh, where the flamer with the last cutter was just devastating. Also with uh, uh, what's it called? The the House of Aroni card. But yeah, nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed the games. I hope you like this deck. And to the ones uh, requesting the uh, the requesting this deck, I hope this gives you an idea how to build him. I think this is pretty good. Uh, it's not much worse, or I don't think it's worse at all than the other Raven Guard dudes. This works pretty well. Um, so yeah, if you have any other requests, let me know below in the comments. I'm taking more. I still got three or four to go, so I'm doing them this month, and next month I'm starting with the regular deck guides again. So yeah, as I mentioned, I hope you enjoyed, I hope to see you next time, and until then check out my channel, and I hope to see you then. Midnight, out. <laughs>